Alright guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this two-click video, I'm going to show you about my script I created for uh, the screen hack. If you're wondering what the screen hack is, uh, for example, if you have Windows uh, 8, 8.1 or Windows 10 uh, on a netbook, you cannot open uh, any of the modern app or because of the screen resolution. And I know there's a lot of fix out there and people are saying do this, check this, check that. But I created a simple script that would just do it for you. Anybody can just run it. Um, so I'll go ahead and uh, this is what the script looked like. I'll put it also in the blog. But uh, let me go ahead and run it so you see exactly what it does. So you need to run the PowerShell as an administrator. Uh, then I'm going to navigate to the folder where I have the script. I believe it's called why is it not tabbing? It is called screen hack. Let's see. Yep, screen hack, that's the name of the script. Not sure why my uh tab function is not working, but let's try that again. I am in there. There we go. And just go screen hack and then you press enter. So now what the script does is it will search the registry first no, it will take a backup of your registry. Then it will it will search for all the keys that include the title that you were looking for. Then it will go ahead and update them. Right, but before, it take, before the changes can take place, it would have to reboot. So what I'm going to do is actually um, pause the video and do a reboot, and then come back. Okay, so we are back, and uh, <coughs> the just got rebooted. So now let's try uh, store again, and no more errors. I try to do this uh, through um, a remote desktop so you can actually see the reboot process go through but for some reason it's in the right uh, registry it's not since it's been uh, since it's remote desktop it doesn't actually um, the machine doesn't have like the registry key for the display in built in there so it did doesn't work that way so that's why I had to make this video from the actual netbook so I'll go ahead and break down the little script for you for you guys and so what it does is the first part of the script since this is a remote uh, PowerShell and it's not signed so you have to um, set the execution policy uh, then the second section here um, just take a backup of your um, registry and put it in a C drive just in case something goes wrong which nowadays nothing goes wrong with changing registry values and uh, the next section here is it's going to search for um, a registry value, this section, this value here, because this is what con controls the display. Oh, this one. Yeah, this is what controls the display. So my, key, my uh, script is going to search for that. And wherever it finds that, it is going to do this. It's going to change the value to 1. So instead of having people go through into the registry, press F. F3, F3, change, F3, F3, change, and change the value, change the value. My script does all that in one simple go. And when it's done, basically it reboots the PC. And that's it. Alright, thank you for your time. You guys have a great day.